topics and this video is for storage of iron and transport of iron. So storage iron protein is ferritin and transport of iron is conducted by transferrin. So first we will see ferritin. F-E-R-R-I-T-I-N that is ferritin. So ferritin is a iron storage protein. The iron is stored in protein which is called ferritin. And the ferritin is found in humans, higher animals and plants, higher degree animals and plants. And in our human body, we can see ferritin, the iron storage protein. And in ferritin, 24 protein units are present. Protein subunits are present. And in each subunit, 175 amino acids are present. So in ferritin, 24 protein subunits and in each subunit, 175 amino acids are present and the deficiency of ferritin causes anemia that we know uh, the ferritin contains iron so deficiency of iron causes anemia and this is the reaction in ferritin the ferritin is what the iron storage protein so iron is stored in ferritin in the form of 2-FeOOH FeO2H is the form of iron which is stored in ferritin. So this is important. FeOOH is the uh, structural formula of iron in which ferritin is stored. So this is the reaction of ferritin that is iron 2 plus is oxidized plus O2 plus 4 h 2 gives 2 FeOOH and hydrogen peroxide and proton. And another point is Fe2 plus on oxidation and hydrolysis give 1 electron and 2.5 proton. So 1 Fe2 plus can give 1 electron and 2.5 protons. This is important. This may be asked in our exam. So Fe2 plus is oxidized and hydrolyzed to give 1 electron and 2.5 protons and iron is in FeOOH, uh, iron is in FeOOH form in ferritin. So ferritin is iron storage protein. So now we will see the detailed structure of ferritin and what are the specifications of ferritin. Now let's see the structure of ferritin. So this is the structure of ferritin and this is the iron core, Fe core. So this is the iron core. In iron core, 4500 iron atoms are present. 4500 iron atoms. So this is the iron core. core. And this uh, external ring is called apoferritin. Apoferritin. So this is iron core which contains 4500 Fe atoms and also this is the form of Fe which is present in ferritin, FeOOH. This is in plus 3 oxidation state and some phospho, oxo, hydroxo ligands are also present in this iron core. So in iron core, 4500 Fe atom, some phospho, oxo, hydroxo ligands are present. And the external coverage is called an apoferritin. And Fe3 plus. So Fe is in Fe3 plus oxidation state, plus 3 oxidation state. And we have seen the reaction of ferritin. Fe2 plus is converted to Fe3 plus on oxidation. And we have seen 1 electron and 2.5 protons are produced in, uh, by 1 Fe2 plus in ferritin reaction. And this is an important point in ferritin. In ferritin, 8 channels are present which are hydrophilic in nature. So, 8 channels, hydrophilic 8 channels are for Fe comes into the core. That means, through these 8 hydrophilic channels, Fe atom, Fe atom will come into the core. Through 8 hydrophilic channels and to 6 hydrophobic channels iron atom will lead to bloodstream so from this iron atom will lead to bloodstream through 6 hydrophobic channels so 8 hydrophilic channels are present 
hydrophilic channels are four, uh, entering of ileatum, and six hydrophobic channels are present. Hydrophobic channels are four, uh, leaving ileatum. That is, ile leads to bloodstream, and ile enters through hydrophilic channel. So this is very important. This point: eight hydrophilic, six hydrophobic. Hydrophilic is for I am entering into the core, and hydrophobic is for I am leading to bloodstream. That's important. And this we have discussed. Fe is in FeOOH. That is Fe three plus plus three oxidation state. And on oxidation of Fe two plus, we get Fe three plus, and one electron and two point five protons are uh, produced by one Fe two plus on oxidation and hydrolysis. And another point is this is this is apoferritin, apoferritin, and inside Fe core, iron core, four thousand five hundred Fe atoms are present. So uh, this much is enough for our exam, uh, exam point of view. So this is apoferritin. Now next we will see transferrin. Now we can see the transport of iron. So transport of iron is conducted by transferrin. T R A N S F E R R I N. So transport of iron is conducted by transferrin protein and it binds with F E three plus three oxidation state. In ferritin also the iron atom is in plus three oxidation state. In transferrin also iron atom is in plus three oxidation state. And the stomach to bloodstream is the transporting channel of iron atom. So iron atom is transported from stomach to bloodstream through transferrin. And the binding affinity of transferrin for Fe three is extremely high. That means comparing to ferritin, transferrin can bind Fe three more. So binding affinity for Fe three in transferrin is extremely high. And it contains six seventy nine amino acids. In ferritin, we have seen one seventy five amino acids in ferritin and twenty four protein chains. But in transferrin, six seventy nine amino acids are present and two carbohydrate chains are present. So in transferrin, six seventy nine amino acids are present and the binding affinity for Fe three is more compared to ferritin. And this is the cycle of storage of iron and transportation of iron. That means Fe three plus is transported to bloodstream from stomach to bloodstream through transferrin, and then Fe three plus is reduced to Fe two plus. Then what happens? We have seen the reaction. Fe two plus is oxidized to Fe three plus. Fe O O H. Fe two plus is oxidized to Fe three plus in ferritin. Ferritin. So the cycle uh, is occur. That means Fe three plus from stomach to bloodstream through transferrin. Transferrin. And then what happens? This Fe three plus can be reduced to Fe two plus. Then what happens? This Fe two plus is again oxidized and becomes Fe three plus. And it combined, it is stored in ferritin O O H. So the transport of iron and storage of iron uh, is represented by this cycle. So this much is for transferrin, and in transferrin the point is six seventy nine amino acids are present, two carbohydrate chains, and Fe is in plus three oxidation state. And binding affinity is more for transferrin to Fe three and uh, transport of Fe and this transport channel is stomach to bloodstream. So that's all about transferrin. That's all about ferritin and transferrin. Ferritin is the storage of iron atom and transferrin is the transportation of iron atom. So in ferritin, the important point is eight hydrophilic channels are present and six hy uh, hydrophobic channels are present. And in hydrophilic channels, the iron atom enters into the core, and hydrophobic channels are for iron atom leading to bloodstream. That's very important point. And transferrin, the binding affinity. Binding affinity of transferrin is higher for uh, towards Fe three plus three oxidation state compared to ferritin. 
So transferring uh, is the transportation of ion atom from star to black stream. So these are the simple points of ferritin and transferrin. Hope you all understand. If any point is missed, please comment under the